I would like to be able to go out and be real mean on the hill. Be a great athlete, being able to play volleyball, mountain bike. I'd like to keep up with the guys, but I think it's important to be versatile to still be able to be a lady. Eva Twardoken's values were shaped by a freedom she does not take for granted. They don't windsurf in Poland, which is where Eva would have grown up if her parents had not defected to the United States before she was born. I was a politically per persona non grata, so to say. George Twardokens came to the United States for the 1958 Fencing World Championships, knowing both a medal and freedom were within reach. George was granted asylum. His wife, Helena, was still in Poland. I have read in the papers that my husband defected. And uh, of course, I didn't receive the passport then. And I was told that I will never be able to have one. After trying to apply every, for every six months, over and over again, on seventh time, my passport was granted, and it took three and a half years. Finally becoming American citizens, the Twardokans settled in Reno, Nevada, and they taught their only child everything they knew about sports, movement, and skiing. My father's a doctor in biomechanics and kinesiology, and my mom has her master's degree in physical education. Uh, I didn't have to rely on the, the school coaches. And from the very early uh, stages, Eva was always exposed to a variety of exploratory types of movements. And of course, already she started skiing. Skiing so well that Skiing Magazine singled out the four-year-old as a future champion. Her parents weren't afraid to push her toward that goal. That part might be not very American, which I'm going to express now. But maybe at times it is necessary for the parents to push because the child might want to withdraw too early. I have a lot of friends that are very talented athletes. And maybe if their parents push them more, they could be where I am. Although where she is is not as far as she wants to go. She was not chosen for the 84 Olympic team. And a knee injury kept her out of the 88 games. Have you been an Olympian? You know, that's the number one question. Have you been in Olympics? Well, I know my dad wants me to, he's always wanted me to be an Olympian, and he knows that um, I've missed out on a couple of Olympics. So for me to do well in the United States is a payback. In this respect, I feel very much uh, American, and uh, I couldn't think of uh, a better reward than uh, seeing the American flag going up.